everybody. It's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and I finally got to do a live to this week. <laughs> it's been crazy at my house, and so I'm finally here. I was dog sitting yesterday, so I didn't get to um, do live last night because I didn't get home in time. And so I'm here tonight, and we're going to make something cute that's kind of been in my mind uh, a little bit. Um, there's some people hopping on. Hey, guys. There's my friends. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Tina. Hey, Lenora. Hey, Teresa. All my friends are in the house. I'm so glad y'all are here. Thank you for showing up and being here. Hey, Pamela and Vanetta. It's wonderful to see you too. Hey, Amy. All right, so what I have in my mind, hey, Melissa, is I saw a bunch of this at Market when I was there in Atlanta in um, January. There was a lot of this, and y'all see y'all see me use my letter board a lot when I make messages and do stuff, and I put the letters on it and change it out. This is kind of the similar, but it's where you can do this at home and not have to buy all the letters and the felt board and all that stuff. Hey, Patty. Hey, Tammy and Pam. Um, so anyway, so we're going to use a, this is a Dollar Tree sign from, it was from Valentine's Day. I keep, I have a box over here of all these surfaces that I save and I buy them and I liked this one. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Yes, she is so, so stinking cute, y'all. I got enough puppy love yesterday. I'm going to get to see her again tomorrow because I got to take my younger son to stay with my oldest son while we're gone to Nashville. Whoop, whoop. Y'all going to see some pictures and videos and stuff of a bunch of us crafters. We're going to be in Nashville together um, at a business conference with Brooke, who's our coach. And um, so I'm sure you're going to see a bunch of us together, pictures and stuff. So be looking for that. Um, hey, Anita, I've been doing well. Yes. Um, thank you, but that puppy is so cute. So I'm gonna get to see her again tomorrow just for a minute. Um, so yeah, I gotta drive over there and drive back. It's like two and a half hour drive, but, um, cause he's gonna stay with my oldest son and then we'll have our dog sitter here. But anyhow, so I'm gonna start off with this sign. Um, yes, Lindy, she's got puppy breath and she is so, so sweet and she has those puppy dreams and where she's like trying to, you know, nurse and stuff is so, so sweet. She'll play a little bit, and then she'd nap. And then she'd play, and then she'd nap. <laughs> Just like a baby. Um, um, anyway, so I saw a lot of these letter boards at Market, but they work out different style, and that's what we're going to make tonight. It's not like the felt, like the ones I have, or the ones you see where you push the letters into it. It's going to be a little different. So I'm starting off with this sign, and I like this one because I bought a couple of these when they put them out in, in Valentine's Day because it already has a frame on it. But you could use any surface you have. You can use a picture frame if you wanted to, to do what we're going to do. So, make sure my hot glue gun's hot. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, you can either do it hanging or you can do this standing. Standing would probably be better so your letters are going to stay on there. Um, <clears throat> yes, we're going to have lots of fun at, um, in Nashville. I'm going to get to see some people I met in uh, January and get to see all them again. And it's going to be um, so much fun. So we're going to change this part. But before I do that, I'm going to, I want to darken this frame up a little bit. And if you don't have a sign with a frame and you want the frame look, use a picture frame. Or you could take jingle blocks and make you a little frame with your jingle blocks. So there's ways around it. I just like this sign because of that. So I'm using the antique wax. Um, you can do whatever you want to do and I'm just going to put it on a baby wipe and I'm just going to darken this up a little just because I want it to kind of stand out a little more than it does and we're going to make this cute and we're going to make a cute little letter board and I'm going to get on that edge inside of there and my finger is probably going to be brown. Hey Teresa from Florida. Oh thank you it's from that uh, Beware Sportswear place. I think I've worn it once before. So see how it makes it darker? Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty it makes it look. The difference in that and that. Isn't that pretty? This is just how I like to put it on. It's just easy. It was a baby wipe. And I made my fingerprint in it. 
and you can make it dark or light as you want to. I haven't used the wax a whole lot. You're gonna miss us all? Well, I'm sure that we'll go live at some point and talk to y'all and that kind of stuff. So I don't know whose page or when or what, because we will be in classes um, part of the day Thursday, um, all day Friday and all day Saturday. But in the evening times, we're going out to eat and stuff like that. So uh, I'm sure we'll be letting y'all know what's all going on. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Shelly. See a cute beaded heart behind me. Oh, that one. Yes, I made that a long time ago. It's, um, I didn't do it live. I just, it was one of those wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. That's a heart. And I cut out the inside, the inside part and put, just cut it in half and put beads on it. That's all I did. I thought it would look cool since my, since I'm the Valentine. So I did that. So I'm just putting this, this uh, wax on here. I don't use this a lot. And when I painted that bed, I used the clear wax and it worked really good, y'all. It really made a difference in the chalk paint when I, I've never used the clear wax and I used it on that bed that I painted. Where am I going? I'm going to Nashville, Tennessee. And there's a whole bunch of people, probably uh, a lot of people that you watch and we're gonna all be together, a good bit of us. So it's gonna be lots of fun. We've been looking forward to this since probably the first of the year. And it's gonna be exciting. So now I gotta get all this off my hands. Oh, I got one more thing to, to do. Take your boots, enjoy some music. I know, I started, I got some real cute, uh, real nice uh, cowboy boots. The pointy, pointy toe ones. Hey, Tamara. Oh, emergency surgery. Goodness gracious, alive. Okay, so I got that done. I'm gonna try to get some of this off. And I'm gonna let that dry, but see how much of a difference it made? It made it so much darker. But it's got my fingerprints in it. <laughs> so I'm trying to get some of that off. It is just, the bottom has dropped out at my house. It is like pouring rain all of a sudden. Just the summertime, the summertime uh, showers. Okay, so we're also going to be using some of these little dowels. Now, if you have just the regular size dowels, you can cut them to any length that you want. Probably in half would be good. But this pack, it came, they came, uh, they're six inches. They came like this from the Dollar Tree. And I was digging through my stuff and I was like, oh, these would be the perfect size. So I'm also going to, one, two, three, four... I'm gonna stain, oh well, wax these too while we're sitting here talking and chatting. Um, <laughs> learned some things. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to all get together again and see each other and some people I've never met, I'm gonna get to see them. So I'm real excited about all of that. See, I'm just gonna rub some, some wax. I wouldn't call it stain. It looks like stain, but to make those just a little darker than the start. I'm gonna lean them up over here and see what all y'all are saying. Hey, Pat. Watching from Southern California. It's not nearly as late there as it is here. It's two hours behind us, I think. And that one went a little darker, but I'll have to go back over this other one. Wonder how long it's gonna take to dry. Just making a mess. <laughs> when I say big drops are falling, I'm like, it's a southern afternoon thunderstorm. Oh, thank you, Rita. I'm just going back over this one to make it a little dark so they'll kind of match. <laughs> I was a little light-handed on this one. Okay. I don't think it takes long to dry. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Michelle. Who are some of the other crafters going? Um, Stacy with Wilshire Collections, Alexis with Purposeful Indulgence, um, Vanessa, I'll be crafty, Danielle with Bella the Barnes, um, Labriska with My Eclectic Treasures, I think she'll be there, and Yvonne with um, Southern Designs and Finds, she'll be there. 
Amber Strong is going to be there. I'm trying to think of who else. Um, you caught me off guard. But um, I can't remember right offhand. Those are the ones I know that are going, but there's 83 of us uh, that are in Brooks Coaching Group. Not all of those are crafters, but uh, a good bit of them are. Um, but some of them I've never met, and some of us have, you know, a lot of us have never met in person. So it's going to be real fun and interesting. Oh, and Christy from Christy's Craft Room, she's going. Um, trying to think who else. All right, I'm just dipping in my wax, y'all, and just painting my wax on. Afraid Not, Nicole, yes, I think she's going to be there. Um, trying to think who else, who else. Trying to think, trying to think. Oh, thank you, Michelle. If y'all know somebody else, y'all um, uh, jump in and tell me. So, yeah, Nicole from Afraid Not. Chrissy with Chrissy's Craft Room. She's going to be there. So, I'm excited to meet some of these girls in person. It's going to be so fun. People that you've only seen on a screen. And, you know, you get to see them in the flesh. And uh, it's going to be fun. No, Alice, you haven't missed much. I'm just using some antique wax of Waverly Wax. And I'm just, I just put, painted some dowels with it or stained some dowels or whatever. And I did around this frame of this sign. This is from Dollar Tree. It came from at the Valentine's, at Valentine's, time, Valentine's Day stuff. 83, yes. So I'm excited. And Brooke's got a lot of stuff in store for us. And I can't wait to see. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Jane. Okay. How to paint something else. I love the canvas full of flowers. Patsy, I will work on that. I've I got some stuff kind of going on in my head about painting and I, I want to do. So, yes, I will work on that. Now, before I started tonight, I did take this outside and with my electric sander, I sanded off this because all of these words were glitter and you can still see a little bit of it. But I sanded it off really good because, y'all, that glitter's a nightmare. So, I sanded it off good. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some uh, scrapbook paper. And you can use whatever, you know, whatever matches your decor. But this is like wood grain. I think it came from... This came from Michael's because it's, recoll it's recollection. So, this came from Michael's. You know, Hobby Lobby, whatever. You can use it. And I wanted it to kind of match this wood. So I went digging through my stash and I'm gonna put it in my little frame and kind of press and make a crease where I wanna cut it. That's gonna help me um, kind of know where I want where to go. So I just kind of crease it with my fingernail and cut it. Oh, this is their first time going somewhere without any kids in 19 years. Oh my gosh, I hope they they live it up. Yeah, it's, when you got kids, it's kind of all about them, and you don't get to do a whole lot. And um, with you know, without kids, we won't have our kids with us. And I'm cutting it a little bit bigger than where I creased it, just because <laughs> I don't want to have to get another piece. Oh, Talisa Lindsay, yes. Um, she'll yeah, she. I think she's going too. Okay, so yeah, I cut it too big, so I'm going to crease it again, and then I'm going to cut it again. Who else? Y'all know anybody else? Renee with Foyer your, for your Eyes Only. Yes, she, she's going. Okay, so i um, got to get this up again and trim it some more where I creased it. Because I did cut it too big, because I can always cut off. I just can't add to, so I'd rather have it too big and then just cut a little at a time back down than have to start over with a whole nother piece of paper. Because that would mess up my whole plan, because I got the colors I planned out. <laughs> Why the angry faces? Oh, there's no telling. Somebody, um, there's no telling. I don't know why people do that, but 
they'll be okay. They can get all happy. Yeah, DIY living, that's it. I could not remember it either. Oh, I cannot get this right to save my soul. Hold on. Got to get it in there. Love the paper. Thank you. It's just, uh, it's from Michael's. I got to get it to go in there. I got to cut just a little more off this one side over here. Let's see. Just a hair. You know, it's that little bump that's keeping it from fitting in there like I want to. All right. Come on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this right. Hey, Kelly. Yes, it's, it's going to be fun. I mean, we, we plan on doing some stuff and going live a little bit or try to. Um, during the day, not so much because we'll be, you know, in the conference and learning stuff. But, um, but we plan on doing some live stuff. All right, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get it to fit and go in there just right. And I think that's gonna do it. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like once I get it Mod Podge. Isn't that cute? Just the just the wood the wood look, and then I, I wax this. Do y'all hear that thunder? That is thunder, it's pouring outside. Like all of a sudden just came up a thunderstorm. I can't get the paper out now. Nope, I still don't have my star button back, but Whenever they decide to give it back to me, it'll be okay. I'm no, I'm okay. I don't think, um, I don't know if Barb's going or not. I haven't heard if she is. Um, so that'll be new to me if she's there, because I don't know uh, if she is or not. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take some Mod Podge, just the little Dollar Tree little bottle. Thank you, Terry. And I'm gonna start at the top and just put a little bit on at a time and put my, try not to, cause you know, Mod Podge dries so fast. But you could do this to match your decor or whatever, wherever you wanna put this. If you wanna make it all whimsical and put some cute paper or even you could just paint the background and not paint, um, not to use paper. I just wanted to use paper so I could get that wood look, but you could do whatever works for you and use the same principle that I'm gonna use. You love a thunderstorm. Well, it's thunderstorming at my house. It is thunderstorming. Okay, I got it coated and it's already starting to dry up here. My fan's on above me and it's wanting to dry it really quick. So gotta go fast, okay. So now I'm going to try to get this back up here and in here just right. Come on. Because y'all know once it's stuck, it's stuck down. And I might have to kind of, I'm kind of roll it a little bit and just get it in place. Why is it doing that? Okay. So I'm going to get it down. I'm going to take my little, my Cricut scraper. Did I stay in the very bottom? No, <laughs> I missed the bottom. I'll fix it. So I'm just gonna take my little Cricut, my little Cricut scraper, or you could use a credit card, a gift card, whatever, and I'm just gonna kinda smooth it out and get, you know, make sure there's no air bubbles because you know how it'll bubble up if you don't. You love a good rumble of thunder. Well, it just thundered loud. Okay, thank you for telling me about the bottom. So we have like, I don't know if they have them everywhere else, but in the South, we have little pop-up showers and from the heat and stuff, it'll just pop up and a, a thunderstorm will just form and it'll start raining. You, you know, you'll look at the radar and there'll be nothing. And then all of a sudden one just forms just from the humidity and it's so hot and it forms a thunderstorm. <coughs> thunderstorm. Okay, so here is my little sign. I got it Mod Podged in there. You know, and the Mod Podge wants to kind of bubble up. So I'm trying to get all that air out of there. And I started to use some adhesive paper. You know, I've got some adhesive paper from Amazon. Started to use that, but I thought, no, 
I want to use it where y'all can use what you have and not use that adhesive, even though I love it. Okay. All right, trying to keep it from bubbling up. So that's what I have so far. So now <clears throat> we are going to take our little dowels and I'm going to place them on my little sign because we're going to glue these down so we can put letters on there. And I'm going to show y'all that in just a second, what we're going to do. So I'm trying to get them spaced. I only have four. You can use as many as you want to because, you know, if you want to say a whole sentence, you might have to have more than um, four. So it just depends on what you want to use your letter board for. So right now I'm just trying to, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do one more. I think I'm going to do five. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. So I'm going to, hey, Amber, I'm going to just take my wax again and just get a little bit and I'm going to do this dowel and we'll have to let it dry and be sure to get the end. But this is going to be like our little ledges that our letters are going to sit on. But I saw these a lot at market. Um, and you've probably seen them here and there or somewhere else. You know, you've probably seen them a lot. So let me let that dry a second. If it's rolling off everywhere. And I'll do the bottom. And somebody told me the bottom that I totally forgot. Got to be... Be, um, get it all. <laughs> okay. But this sign was from uh, the Valentine's stuff at Dollar Tree back in Valentine's. All right. So, make sure I got it all over me. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to, so I'm going to put five on mine. And I'm just trying to center it and make sure I have it centered this way. Oh, it's okay, Valerie. Glad, just glad you're here. Okay. So this is the fun part is trying to get them spaced out to where they look like they are evenly spaced. That's the fun part. Okay. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I got it kind of down here like... Um, and I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of eyeballing how it's going to look like that. Let's see if I can get this one to dry. Thank you, Susan. This is not real. I don't know why they call it wax, but it's not really what I would call wax, but it does the same thing. But the clear really, really did work good when I chalk painted that bed. It worked so good. It made, a, it made a smooth finish out of that chalk paint, and it worked really good. Okay. So, I, I think I got them where I want them, I think. So, I'm going to take my hot glue gun, and I'm just going to put a little bit along my dowel. Try to make a little bitty bead all the way across where it doesn't ooze out. And... Put it back down where I had it, where it's straight. Welcome, Donna. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, you're not 45 minutes away from Nashville. Awesome. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. See where I, I picked it up and didn't look where I was, where it's going. So, I'm just going to put my little hot glue down. But you can use this as a little message board, like in your kitchen or just anywhere like that where you want to put a little note for people or in your spare bedroom or bathroom. You can do this. It'd be really stinking cute. And you can change it out for the seasons or just whatever every day if you want to put a little note to your family or something like that. I got to show y'all what we're going to use for the letters. Okay. Yeah, the fun part's getting them spaced out, which I'm not a measure person, but you wish you were going to Nashville. <laughs> y'all will get lots of lots of pictures and stuff, I'm sure. Between all of us crafters, you'll be like, oh my gosh, they're all there. 
be a bunch of us. I'm excited. A lot of them are getting there tomorrow. And, you know, they're going out tomorrow night. But I'm not. I won't get there till Thursday. So, all right. That one's wanting to be a little crooked. But it's going to be okay. All right. Get my spacing okay. Get it straight. Get them all. I got to line it up this way and then get it straight. <laughs> Yay, Sherry, you got your scissors. I'm driving. It's only like three and a half hour drive. Well, my husband will drive, but he's going to tour the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg. He's taking like a bus tour. Okay, so here's what I got so far. So there's my little dowels, and they're like little ledges, as you can see. So now, what my thought was, <clears throat> oh, I got them all over here because I know what I wanted to say. I'm, well, let me do that. Let me do this part. Well, I'll show y'all that first. And then we're going to add some to it. We're going we're gonna to decorate it up a little bit. I'm going to use my Scrabble letters. I have a bottle from Amazon. They did not come in this box. They came in bags. Um, there was like 500 of them. And I sat down one day and divided them all out into alphabets. Because <laughs> I got... It drove me crazy trying to dig through all of the letters to find a letter. So, I got like A and B and C and D and, you know, I did it all in this box so I could just grab it and get my letters and be done. So, my thought was, let's see. Let me spell out my, let me turn it all over. Is this all of them? Uh, let's see. So, my thought was is that we could just set the little tiles on there. And it would be like a little letter board. Because like I said, I saw these all over market. Um, but in a different fashion or form, one way or the other. Um, let's see. Let me go down. But I kind of like the, the idea of using my Scrabble tiles. Because I've got a whole bunch of them. So why not use them for that? And I could change out the letters. But we're not going to glue them down. We're just going to put them... Um, Put them there to spell out something, and they're going to stand on our little ledge. Okay, so let's see. Let me move these down like this. And so, so here is our little letter board, and we're going to add some more stuff to it. But see, you could change them out. You could just slide them off and, you know, change out whatever you want it to say. So, if you want to put it in your guest, guest room and put be our guest or you know, in your guest bathroom or your kitchen for your family or put some kind of little saying on it. That's why I said it depends on what, how many of these little ledges that you want, but it's totally changeable and they will just sit up there just like that. Okay. So that's, that's that. That's how we're going to do the letters. Oh, he will love it in the town square. Oh, good. Delissa, cause he's looking forward to it. So I want to add since I've got the brown and then I've got this, the natural Scrabble letters, y'all know I'm going to add some of these uh, split beads or split balls to it. So I think I'm going to do them in the corners just to, just to give it a little something, something. Oh, you were there last week. Harbor Freight has a good deal on boxes like that. Yeah, I love boxes. I'm an organizational freak. I have boxes for my boxes. <laughs> I have containers any kind of containers or bins or I'm just like, oh, I got to have them. I love uh, organizational stuff. Love it. Okay. But this little letter board is just so easy. And if you already have the Scrabble tiles, um, then you're, you're good to go. You just need a Dollar Tree sign and some dowels and fix it up. And you've got your own little letter board. But we're going to go a little extra. Um, so I got my, so there's my little half beads and you can go so far as do it all the way around if you wanted to, that's up to you. So however you want to do it. Um, but you know, you could change it out and change up your stuff, but let's go a little further than that. Uh, so I know y'all, a lot of people message me all the time about the little pieces I put on my felt boards that I've cut with my laser. Um, I'm going to try to offer those, but, you know, it's, 
it's hard to know like okay is that gonna be something that everybody wants or what but because but I have a lot of people message me um, so like these are from the scrapbook section at Hobby Lobby just the little scrapbook their little a page of sunflowers so it's got a sticky on the back but you don't even have to use the sticky part um, let me unsticky it a little bit because I don't want to pull my paper but you could put you know you, you could lean your little sunflower up like that um, in fact, I'm just going to take the sticky off the back. So I took the sticky off and you could just set it down like this. Oop. Like that. And there's your little sunflower or just whatever little things you have. I was going to try to put, these are the flowers that I do that I cut for y'all, but it's not going to fit, but you could stand them up here if you wanted to. Um, depending on how high your board is and where you put your stuff, but you could decorate it up really cute like that. Um, if you got the lemons that I cut, you could do it in lemons and change this out. But the scrapbook section is awesome, guys, at, Wa at a Walmart. At uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, um, you could do your put your little lemons up here like this, or like these are... These are little gnomes that were in the Halloween section at Walmart last year. They were in my little bin of little embellishment stuff. I mean, you could you could prop him up there and see it would be just like that. But we gotta make this thing stand up too. But look how cute he would be. Um, you could stick him down here, wherever you wanted to put it. Um, just any kind of uh, little embellishments that you have. Just look around your, you know, what you, in your craft room and see what you have. But these are like little leaves. They're wooden leaves. And they came from, um, I think they came from Michael's last year. But you could do a little fall saying, and you could prop your little, they're just little bitty wood cutouts of leaves. And you could prop them up just like that and put some kind of fall saying and have your, um, put, you know, help, you know, it's fall y'all or whatever. And you could change this out for the seasons. And how cute is that? I mean, I know Be the Sunshine is not uh, a fall saying, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. But see how cute that would be? Just the little stuff that you can get in the scrapbook section or for the different holidays, you know, at Christmas. And while, um, Dollar Tree has the little, the little bitty wood stickers. You could use those for this, do a Christmas saying. All right, so we're gonna go one step further though um, and add, we're gonna add a bow. I'm gonna add a bow to the top of mine, but it's not gonna be a, it's gonna be a refound bow, a brook bow, but we're gonna do something a little extra to it. Okay, so I just, I have this, it's like drop cloth material. I got it, it's like canvas. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I just tore, went ahead and tore some strips and I'm gonna make a, my little crisscross bow like Brooke does. And just kind of crisscross them a little bit. But we're gonna make it a little extra. So y'all watch the magic. Not the bow, but what we're gonna do with the bow. So you could do, um, you know, Christmas time, do your tile, your, your um, yeah, it would be a good Christmas gift. You could do a little um, little Santa hat or a little Christmas tree on the little ledge and make it all cute. Okay, so I got my my crisscross of my fabric. Where did my zip tie go? Here it is. But like uh, Dollar Tree has the little pumpkins, the little wood cutout pumpkins that they sell on that sticker sheet. And you could put those on here. That would be so cute. There's so much you could do and just look for little things that you could use to put on here. Um, so I'm just making my bow. I always like to use zip ties because I can get it so tight with a zip tie, whereas I can't get my jute. Um, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Janet. And I can't never get my jute tied, tight enough because I don't have somebody to hold it with their finger while I tie the, tie the, um, the jute to try to do it together. So now I'm just going to kind of fluff it all out and trim, do my hair hair beautician trick on it and cut its hair. 
I got my hair did today. Look, I don't have any roots. <laughs> I had to get it done so I, before I went to Nashville. Oh, I make wonderful magic. You're so sweet. I try, but, you know, I just like to see stuff. And, like, well, I can make that for a whole lot less. Because um, they had, at Market, there was one whole store that had just this. And I was just so fascinated, and I loved it. And I was going through my pictures the other day, and I was like, oh, I need to do that idea. So it's been kind of rolling around in my head for about a week. Okay, so here's my little bow, okay? So I'm going to put my bow up here, but, okay, but, well, let's see. And I'm going to put it up top because I don't want it to hang over into the, that's why I'm kind of doing it short. I don't want it to hang over in my letters, but I want that extra little something at the top because it looks naked at the top. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, my nail polish color. Y'all, that's called carnation pink. Y'all believe that? That looks, that does not look like carnation pink. <laughs> carnation pink to me is like, um, like maybe that color or lighter. That isn't, this is carnation pink. <laughs> I was like, okay, who named that? Okay, so let's find this. Okay, so I'm thinking, do I need to put it? I'm not going to hang mine. I'm going to make a stamp, make a, put it on an easel. So it's like, do I put it here? Or you think, I think it's going to interfere too much if I put it there. So I might put mine over here. Thank you, Cheryl. I will be in Nashville till Sunday. I'm coming back Sunday. It's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then we're staying Saturday night and come back Sunday. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it over here because I don't want it to interfere with this line up here. So keep that in mind when you're making your first row because it might be um thing but here's this next thing i'm going to do i'm not going to make this permanently on my board okay now i have these little uh circle velcro dots because i use them and with the gnome attachments and stuff i use those and i send these to you for your little gnome but now dollar tree does sell the little dots like this so they're velcro so I'm gonna stick one, is that the back? No, that's not the back, that's the front. One on the back of my bow, okay? So I'll put the Velcro dot on there. And then the other piece that matches it, we're gonna put it on the frame. So easy way to do this. If you have one of those gnomes and you're trying to figure out how to put the Velcro on there so it'll match up, I take mine and stick it to each other. And this is the sticky side out, okay? So then I'm gonna turn this where I wanna put it and just kind of mash it down and it's gonna stick it down. So, there's my little sunflowers. Where's my other one? I've lost a sunflower. Sunflower down. We'll put him there. Well, he won't stand up here, but I can stand him up there. I don't know where the other one went. I lost a sunflower. Sunflower down. It's a mess. It's somewhere in here. Okay. So, see, there's my bow. It's on there. But, I'm going to, let's say I don't want that bow. And I want a sunflowery bow. That can be like the everyday bow. And let's make a sunflowery bow. But they have Velcro dots at... Uh, Dollar Tree. They have a little pack of them. On the corner bead. So I'm just going to make a little, let's say we want a sunflower bow and I don't want the everyday bow. And let's do this. Here's some burlap. I got a little pile of strips over here if you're wondering where this is all coming from. <laughs> yeah, I like it to the side too, Joanne. So this is a cute idea. And like I said, you could use it for every holiday, every day, every holiday, um, and change out your, your little phrase with your Scrabble tiles. And they're not expensive on Amazon. I mean, like I said, I got 500 and I've used them so many times and I've still got, still got them. 
They're six inch dowels, yes, but they, they came like they came like this from Dollar Tree. And then they also have, you know, the regular ones. And you can cut these. These are probably 12. You can cut these. Yeah, they're 12. Y'all like my turquoise ruler I made? It's a Walmart ruler. And I did the water technique and I'll use it in my pictures. But, you know, Walmart's got their school supplies out and these are 25 cents. So I had to buy several because I'm all the time losing my rulers. All right, so I think I got plenty. Let me put a burlap in the back because I already got one burlap that way. All right, and my zip ties. Yeah, so you can change this out and that makes it so versatile. So you're doing something that you can leave up all year and change it as you want to. And the fun part to me is is searching for all the little stuff to go on it. Like when you um, go to Dollar Tree, you go to Hobby Lobby and look at all the scrapbook little stickers and stuff they have and you can like, oh, I can use that on my letter board. That'll be so cute and just to have little accents. So I'm gonna fluff this bow, but at Christmas, you could do a Christmas bow and Easter, you could change it out. You could do somebody's birthday and do happy birthday because they have scrapbook stickers for everything if y'all have not noticed and like i said if they have that little dot on the back because a lot of them aren't stickers they're just embellishments with little sticky stuff on the back and you can um find you know just pick them up here and there and peel that little thing off the back and then you've got you a little accent for your letter board or if you're real savvy you can make your own with felt but to me that's the fun part is finding all the little stuff to go on it to embellish it and make it cute kind of like tear trays that's my thing too i like to i like to hunt for things to go on my tear trays and i'm about ready for fall though i've um i'm getting that fall fever i said as kelly told me the other day i sent her some picture or something from Instagram or some fall project. And she's like, girl, you gonna make me wanna start doing Halloween projects right here in the middle of the summer. I said, I know, right? Okay, so now I've got my little, my little bow for my sunflower. And I gotta think about which piece I put where. Okay, my sticky stuff's coming off. So then I'm gonna get me another piece of Velcro. And like I said, you can get them at Dollar Tree and they come, I can't remember. There's a whole bunch in the pack though. And I'm going to put that little right, the little piece on the back. And then we're just going to change out. We're just going to change our bow out and make it to where it's all sunflowery and, and yellow and green. And it's going to stay there. My little flowers wanting to lean to the side. So if you don't like that one, you can just take that off and we'll pop this one back on. Isn't that cute? It's so easy. And like I said, Christmas, do a Christmas bow, and you could keep your, my things want to come off, whoop, um, keep your, all your little letters, your, you know, in a little box or in a drawer or something, and have your bows in there, and all your little pieces that you find along the way to put in your, um, on your letter board, and have you a little box, and you could change it out. But isn't this the cutest little idea? And I've been wanting to do this for a while and uh, just had to make it come to life. But isn't this cute? So, to make it stand, now I will probably use an easel. I need to spray paint it because I'm not real fond of the gold. And I will probably just put mine on an easel like this. And there went my flower. Okay. And see, they'll stay on there. They're going to stay. Um... Whoop, unless I, my bow came off. Hold on, bow down. <laughs> Sunflower down, bow down. But see how cute this is. Yeah, they, Lenore, they do. They sell the little pieces of wood stuff um, at Hobby Lobby. Let me get it to stay, stay up there, please. No. Now, but you could do, maybe it needs to go over here. Stop it. Stay right there. Now, 
but you can do whatever you want to. And Christmas, Halloween, fall is going to be coming up, and you could put your little leaves on there and put, you know, hey, y'all, it's fall, or some cute saying, somebody's birthday, happy birthday, make a cute, bright, colorful bow, and maybe find a little cut a little cake or something to put this to put on here but if you didn't want to use an easel I find these easels at Goodwill all the time and actually I bought a whole bag of them at one time and it was like four dollars and I got like 10 or 15 of these and we used them at the wedding which was real helpful um, so you never know when you're gonna need a good easel um, you can take the insert out of a frame like from Dollar Tree and you could glue that sucker right there on the back and have it to where it stands up. You could do that. Or you could just lean it up against something wherever you're putting this. Um, you could put jingle blocks somehow on the back and make it stand. So there's all kinds of different ways you can make it stand. Um, like I said, you can use that. Or like I said, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use an easel for mine. Or just lean it. But it's so cute. And I might go back and put some more things on there. Yes, Pam, I do tell you, I love it. You can change it out with the different seasons. And you don't have to have 500 Scrabble pieces. You just have to have several of the, all the vowels, probably. And, um, yeah, they, they, Lauren, they did have, they already have the sticky stuff off, but I peeled it off. But, yeah, you could use, use the sticky stuff and have your cute little sayings you could put one in the middle you could put something down here um i even thought about too like the little crates from dollar tree you could put glue a crate down here and keep all your letters and stuff in there i don't know if it'd be big enough but um there's all kinds of stuff you can do to make this cute but like i said you can do your bow where you can oh that sunflower he's been wanting to fall off um change your bow out I like the neutral look. I think it's really cute. But you could do it so much to this. And keep it up all the time. I'm trying to keep that from tearing my paper. Keep it up all the time. But see, you know, the little strawberries I had or the peaches. You could put stuff up here. I don't know if he'll fit there. And a little watermelon. Just different, just fifth different little stuff. And the flip flops. They're too big. But y'all get the idea. Or I can just send it to you, Rhonda. You're funny. <laughs> so, I, so I just think it's really neat. Because, uh, like I said, I saw it back in January. And it's kind of been in the back of my head since then. Um, to do something like this. To make it come to life. And this was a Dollar Tree board. Scrapbook paper. Some dowels from the Dollar Tree. Scrabble letters. My bow. And my beads. And it was just that easy. So, it's... It's not real hard and complicated. You could even put, and take this bow off, and you could even put this bow back on, and you could glue an embellishment so it'll tie it all together, do the same thing. Yeah, the poster dots, that would work. But there's so, y'all can just take this idea and just run with it. Change the background color to something else to match your decor. Put the crate on the back to hold it up. There you go, Teresa. That would be awesome. Yes. And Laurel, that's, yes, you could do that. Put the crate on the back and st it will stand up like this. And see, they're not, <laughs> he don't want to stay, y'all. Um, just go on down there. The leaves are sticking out on the back and it's making them fall. Anyway, but yeah, you could put that on the back and make it stand up. And then you'd have a place to put all your, your little stuff. Hey, Deborah. But I think it's really cute. And I may even go back and add some more of these split balls. But it would be cute in your kitchen, in your guest area, on your foyer table, whatever. Wherever you want to put a sign. And like if you're having a party or a shower or a baby shower or a bridal shower, you could put, you know, whatever you wanted to say on here to whoever. Happy birthday, you know, somebody's kid's birthday in your house. Happy birthday, Chase, or happy birthday, whoever. It would be so, so cute. Frame a magnetic sheet and make magnets. Now, Susan, you could do that, and you could glue um, little magnets on the back, and you, you could certainly do that. 
Oh, Debbie's got all the supplies. Debbie's on it. <laughs> but it's so cute. I just love it. And like I said, it was, they had them on, um, at market. This one store had nothing but these in big, they had big ones. And I was like, oh my gosh, um, <laughs> they're going to get a whooping for not saying put. They are. Um, but, and I just loved them. I fell in love with them at market and I've seen them on different places. Some people have ledges on their wall and they put the big letters up there and they change their sayings out on their whole wall, which is so cool. Aren't those ha best half balls? Yes. <laughs> Y'all just want me to say that. <laughs> is this a blackboard? No, it's not a blackboard. It was just a sign from Dollar Tree and I put scrapbook paper and then little dowels to make our ledges. And then these are just little scrabble tiles that I put up here. And you can spell out your message of whatever you want it to say. Yes, you could put magnets on the back. You sure could. You could use a cookie sheet from the Dollar Tree and dress it up cute. Same thing. Um, the crate idea is really great. Yes, Judy, it would be really good. So, let's see. I got a crate somewhere. Hold on. I mean, you could even use this crate. You know, these little trays. And let's see. You could put it on the back. Like that. Try not to let my letters... That sunflower, he's just going to come off. Um, but yeah, they'll stay until I bump it and they don't. <laughs> Yo! Y'all just wanted me to do that, didn't you? You just wanted me to go, bloom, alphabet soup. Okay. All right. That would be my only worry with it being... Is standing straight up. I'm going to try to be careful this time. See if I can get it to stand straight up without the letters coming off. Oh, yeah. But you could always glue it out a little bit, maybe. And then you'd have a little place for all your stuff. So, that is so stinking cute, I think. But they'll stay up there. Let's see if I can get it straight up. Okay, that's straight up, and they're staying there. So, that is straight up and down until I bump it. But that's straight up and down. And I bump it, and I lost a B. But anyway, isn't it so cute? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yes, you could use an 8x10 picture frame. Whatever you choose to do it, you sure could. You could do any of that. And you could take the glass out, and then you would have the easel on the back. You could absolutely do that. Velcro different spots on the back. Yes. Dolores, that's a cool idea. You could put Velcro on the back. And all your little holiday shapes or whatever could be hidden on the back. And then you just pull them off and put them on the front when you get ready to use it. <laughs> you are laughing at me. I keep asking if they'll fall off. Okay, Nancy. That's standing straight up. Okay, let me turn it to the side so you can see. It's standing straight up and they're not falling off. But I would prefer, you know, I want to lean my back a little bit. Yes, Nancy, you can glue jingle blocks to the back and make it lean a little bit. Yeah, y'all, y'all are, y'all got this. Y'all don't need me. Y'all got this. Yeah, I would have it slanted too, Donna. That's just me. That's why I think the easel would be a good, um, you could lose, use square dowels. Yes. Um, <clears throat> they have square dowels. I think Hobby Lobby has them, I think. But see, why does it not look straight in the picture? I guess it is in the camera. But look how stinking cute this is. But see, it's only leaning back a little bit. It just makes it lean a little bit. But see how cute? So, I mean, y'all got this. Y'all don't, y'all, if y'all are going to take it and run with it, I just know it. Now, I know you're not going to want to stay up there. I should have left sticky on the back of them. But, like, these, I have little buttons that look like this. And I took my little wire cutters and I cut them off. So, you can just prop them up there. I have all kinds of little, I have little drawers over here full of all this little, um, Happy stuff, little embellishments and stuff like that. Those were, y'all look for these this year. These were in the Halloween section at Walmart and they came on a card, you know, and they had, 
There's my little glue dots. They had all these on there. So y'all look for them because they went fast uh, last year. And y'all were all like, um, where is that? Where I can't find them. Y'all remember these? These are the iron-ons that, that were at Walmart last year and I never used them. So you could totally, um, I can't even see it now. Let's see. You could put your truck up here. It's just an iron-on applique. That's all this is. Put that, put that puppy up there at the top. Or you could put him down here at the bottom. Ain't that cute? But you just think of all the little things you can use. You could make out of felt. And stick that up there. Look how stinking cute that is. <laughs> so, yeah, you just think of all the little embellishments that they have at Hobby Lobby. My gosh, they got two aisles of this stuff, I think. Um, and just your Scrabble tiles. And I think they have Scrabble tiles at Hobby Lobby, but you'd probably be better off getting them on Amazon because you would get a whole bunch. Like this was 500 and I don't even remember how much, maybe 11 $12, and I got 500 letters. And I've used them in so many crafts for different things. But you can use this and make your little own little letter board. Because I think I have a lot of people ask me about my letter boards that I love that I use. And I have to buy those letters. If it's a different font, I have to buy those fonts and all this kind of stuff. But this way, you just have your Scrabble. And people make those big Scrabble tiles to put on the walls, and they look cute too. Would Scrabble letter holder work? It would, Etta, but it would probably be heavy on here. But that little dowel... If you can see it from the side, it's just enough for them to see it. So they're perfect. Yep, you could you could do magnets, yes. The crate in front and store the scrabble. Yes, you could do that. However you wanted to do it. It'd be so cute. So y'all y'all are already just running with it. Y'all's minds are spinning. A pizza pan? Yes, you could, Lorraine. It would be so cute. But I like, I just like the little le the ledges. That's what I like about it. Because some people make ledges on their wall with wood. And then they put big letters up there. Oh, Dollar General has Scrabble tiles too. Search for those iron on and never found. And I never used them. They're in my little drawer over here and the Christmas ones. But then, see, there you go. But you know Hobby Lobby's got stickers or some kind of little puffy stickers that you could take off the back and just use it just like that. So stinking cute. And like this pumpkin would be too big. They're so cute. 50 cent. Yes, Lori, you could use the little small letters they have at Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree, those little wood letters. You sure could. You could do it and put them on there. Yes, Nancy, a, a, a metal tray with the magnets and stuff. But, the, you know, the thing the thing about the magnets is you're getting into the cost being more because magnets aren't cheap, especially if you buy the little neodymium ones, the neodymium ones, I can't talk, that are very thin. Um, so they'll be almost flush. But I just love the ledges. That's what I like about it is the little piece that it sits on. Thank you, Debbie. Thank y'all, guys. So, y'all be expecting a bunch of pictures from all of us crafters because I know a bunch of them are meeting tomorrow night and eating and stuff. And then, um, I still got that around my wrist. I just realized. Um, and then starting Thursday, we'll have our conference. And then Thursday night, everybody will be there. So, I'm sure y'all are going to be getting to see all kinds of pictures and stuff. I know I'm going to be taking pictures and of all the fun going on so um i'm excited to meet brooke i'm excited to meet everybody there and see people that i i've wanted to meet and have it because it's we're from all over the country and we're all meeting in one place so it's going to be awesome look at tanya she's on it she done ordered her some scrabble tiles they're coming in two days <laughs> gotta love amazon oh thank you wendy Thank y'all very much for hopping on and being with me tonight. I appreciate it. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Um, the flat wood beads, they're going to come from Amazon too. Just type in split balls and they'll come up. And I don't know what size these are. These are 20 millimeter, I think. But they come from little all the way up to big. Um, 
So anyway, so thank y'all for watching. I've missed y'all yesterday, but, um, so I won't be on, you know, to do a craft this week, but I'm sure I'll hop on live at some point with all of them. Thank you, Tammy. There's my uh, Amazon affiliate link if y'all need that. And the, all of this, the Scrabble tiles, the split balls, all that's in there too if you want to click on that to make it easy. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I'm going to enjoy. Yes, Lainey, we're going to be downtown. So I'm sure there's all kinds of sites. I'm, I've been through Nashville. I've never actually stayed in Nashville. So we'll be having, um, it'll be hubbies. Some people are husbands are going, some people's aren't. Um, mine is, I think Alexis is going. Stacy's, Stacy lives close to there. So her husband will be coming up at night when we all go out to eat and stuff. Um, bunch of them's husbands are coming. Some people aren't. But it's going to be lots of fun. So I'm going to miss y'all, but I'll be on at some point showing y'all some stuff in Nashville. And I'm sure all of these crafty ladies will. So we're excited to all see each other. And because, you know, we all support each other. So we're so excited. You know, we'll be safe. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and go see what my family is doing. Thank y'all for being with me and watching. I love y'all. Um, and I will see y'all in Nashville. Thanks, guys. Bye.